at the Huffington Post. David, thanks for joining us. Thank you. So what do we know about the specifics of the argument and who investigators are talking with? Well, apparently there was an altercation over paperwork in which Specialist Lopez was got very, very angry. Uh, we don't know exactly what the argument was about, and, um, and we will probably never know what caused him to uh, go from a situation which a lot of us have been in, in which is arguing over paperwork, something annoying, uh, but most of us don't become mass murderers, and we don't know still exactly what triggered it. But, Alex, there's something really interesting I wanted to talk about that I turned up in reporting. Hmm. A new study out this week, part of a massive study inside the Army of um, soldiers' mental health issues. What, and what they're looking at specifically is what are, the, what are the mental health conditions that people bring into the Army they enlist? A very, very important but often overlooked part of this whole story. What they found is that about one out of five soldiers who enlist in the Army have some kind of existing mental health issue. ADHD, for example, anxiety, depression, those kinds of things. Hmm. Fairly common ailments. But what was really disturbing is they found that 8% of new recruits in the Army come in with something called intermittent explosive disorder, which was something I had never heard of. But it's road rage. It's, it's a condition that causes people to explode in uh, anger and, and violence and aggression way out of proportion to the situation. So that's... So this Army study said about 8% of its new recruits come in with that condition. So the Army recruits about 70,000 people. 8% is roughly 5%, 5,000 mm -hmm. new soldiers coming in with that condition. Wow. Now, we don't know if that's tied to Specialist Lopez, but it's a very, very disturbing finding. Yeah, quite sobering. And when you think about what's happened at Fort Hood, David, I mean, the second time uh, that you've seen a fatal shooting like this, of course, one at, at the hands of a psychiatrist, Major Nidal Hassan, 13 people were killed in that one. Um, Fort Hood is a huge base. I mean, it's as, it's as large as, if not larger, than many cities. Um, the odds of something like this happening again and how to prevent it from happening, I mean, that's really got to be the crux of the issue going forward. Well, Alex, you're right. That's the key. And uh, another thing I looked at this week is how many mental health professionals does the Army have? And does it have enough? Because we keep hearing stories about soldiers who are not getting help. Um, so the Army has about 5,000 mental health professionals on staff right now. And given the size of the Army, that's about one for every 100 soldiers. So I think Army, after a late start and spurred on by the rising suicide rate, has begun to provide the kind of care that soldiers need. Clearly, yeah. though, not enough. Yeah. All right. Sobering discussion, David Wood from the Huffington Post. Thank you so much.